Hello, and today I'd like to show you the latest addition to the Seeker 777 family, the handrail accessory, and how it compares to our main competitor, Health Meter. I'd like to give you four reasons why Seeker is the clear choice in a column scale with a handrail. Reason number one, the assembly of the handrail. Both handrails are accessories to the scales, and both also have assembly steps required to fit them onto the scale. The Health Meter handrail, although requires much more invasive steps to attach it to the scale itself. So um, let's have a look at that real quick. When I open the assembly kit for the handrail, the health meter scale, I have a red stencil and a drill bit, complements of health meter, which requires me to drill into the platform of the health meter scale using this stencil and um, I can see that while I'm pretty much guided I don't like drilling into the into the products themselves and with the Sika scale no drilling is required the platform comes pre-drilled and ready for mounting of the handrail it's also important to look at the individual handrails themselves to see the clear advantage of the Sika handrail in this case here I have a simple mounting bracket that fits right onto the existing platform of the scale. Whereas with the health meter version, I only have screw holes in the back. And to fix it to the front part of the platform, there's double-sided tape on the bottom of the platform. When we go to attach this to the scale, it's also not that easy. I have to lean it over the scale head and ensure that everything is lined up and especially when the double-sided tape starts sticking it makes it extra difficult so with the Sika handrail like I said the holes are already pre-drilled into the platform this just needs to be placed on here and with 12 screws the handrail is secured to the platform. No double-sided tape required for this one. Another important thing to note with the health meter scale is that the platform of the handrail raises the original platform a little bit, meaning I have to adjust my height measuring rod. There's an additional piece that I have to install within the rod to make sure that it compensates for that difference. The original calibration is no longer valid. There could be inaccuracies in height measurement. When you look at the Sika scale, Although it appears to be slightly raised, this is the original platform. The handrail is just mounted on the back, so I have the original non-slip surface in place, and I do not have to adjust the height measuring rod. The original calibration is valid, and this makes the overall installation much easier. Reason number two, superior ergonomics. So that patients feel most comfortable and secure while taking a measurement, it's important that the handrail has a nice wide stance to it, as you see with the Seek a handrail here. Especially a patient that's somewhat larger, a little bit wider, they need a wider stance. They're able to support and stabilize themselves very well on the platform. I have lots of room between the column and the handrail itself. And also the handrail is made of a nice non-slip surface. So if I just used a hand sanitizer that might have some moisturizer cream in it, my hands don't slip. Even if I'm smaller or shorter, anywhere I grab the handrail, I feel safe and secure. When I look at the health meter handrail, I can see that it's much more narrow. It also doesn't stretch out forward very much. That can be a problem if I'm very unstable and trying to get onto the scale, I have to reach forward quite a bit. And then also once I'm on here, this isn't very stable. And the distance between the column and the handrail itself, especially if I have larger hands, is somewhat limited. I can also see that the surface of the handrail is smooth. So if I just use a hand sanitizer or some kind of hand cream, this can also be very slick and dangerous to hold on to. Reason number three, transporting the scale. The CK777 series was designed for easy transport with its wide set, large rubber coated wheels. And even with the handrail attached, Transportation remains a snap, and I can roll 
and steer the scale just as easily as before. Compared to the health meter version, I still have nowhere to really grip the scale itself. I'm kind of forced to grab the handrail in this case. And as you can see, the wheels are really tiny, close together, and especially now with this additional weight of the handrail on the platform, I can see, oh, and with double-sided tape, it comes off the platform. That's one thing to note. But now the platform is so much more top-heavy that if I take a sharp turn, it easily tips over. Reason number four, cleaning and disinfection. As we all know, cleaning and disinfection is extremely important when maintaining the scale and also in between patient usage. Even with the handrail, the patient contact surface remains a single piece and can be easily cleaned and disinfected with typical wipes and disinfection methods. There are minimal crevices between where the scale handrail is attached. But again, the contact surfaces, especially where the hands are, everything is a single piece and can be easily disinfected and cleaned. And with the health meter handrail, we have a major hygienic issue in that the platform of the handrail and the scale itself separate, creating a major gap in between. Dirt, viruses, bacteria, anything else can collect in here without any true way to clean it. And additionally, the double-sided tape creates even more of a problem that this stuff just gets stuck in there and can't be removed. From assembly to ergonomics, from transport to hygiene, it is clear that the Sika 777 series with handrail provides the most comfortable solution to your customers and users taking height and weight measurements. Experience it for yourself today.